three, two, one. A few world-class athletes and one very fast pink gorilla started off the 98th annual Beta Breakers. You know, most races start with a bang, but when you have this many people, it kind of takes a while. Even 20 minutes after the start, there are still people all the way back to the water. But they didn't seem to mind. Hello, cookie? Did, did you have any special cookies before the race? No, not today. I'm missing out. What you drink in there? Oh, well, Coors Light. Coors Light. I switched. Does it help you run faster? Exactly. It's light. Now, this year, there's supposed to be a ban on alcohol. What do you think of the new rules this year? Come on! What new no rules? And you can see how well it's working. And there's no nudity right here, right? Nope. Well, except for this guy. Oh, and this year, floats have to be pushed by hand, and they can't be taller than... Nine feet! Well, I don't have my tape measure. We'll let it slide. These guys actually have a moving photo booth, so I'm going to get in and get my picture taken. Yeah. How'd it look? Now there is one float that's motorized, the street sweeper, that has to pick up all these tortillas. Well, except that one. Careful eating off the ground, it seems like a lot of people had the swine flu. Be careful, you might catch it. Ah! Looks like someone already did. Did I mention there were 50,000 people running this race? And they all had to make it up the infamous Hayes Street Hill but not without refreshments. You know, they said cakes were going to be illegal this year, but apparently they're not too hard to find. In fact, uh, I think this is Bud Light, but I'm not really sure. And I hear it tastes better when you're upside down. The notes. Once you're all cooled off, it's through the park and out to the beach with the end in sight. Now, serious runners finish the race in under an hour, but maybe being serious is overrated. All right, time for a big finish. Ready? Yeah! Three hours, six minutes, and half the pack is still behind me. In San Francisco, Jonathan Bloom, Cron 4 News.